Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find solutions to basic inequalities. Now, inequalities are comparisons between two values, numbers, or expressions that are not equal. But sometimes there is a possibility of the values being equal depending on which inequality symbol is being used. You'll see exactly what I mean as we go through our examples. The five symbols used to represent inequalities are not equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and then less than or equal to. You'll notice that the or equal to symbols have a small line under them. That signifies or equal to. So we are going to go through four examples of inequalities and determine which values make the inequality true. So let's jump into number one where we have x is less than 11. So any number less than 11 would make this inequality true. And we'll start with 25. So 25 is not less than 11. So if we plug that in for x, 25 is less than 11. Well, that's not true. So that would not be a correct solution. Now 3, that's less than 11. So 3 is less than 11. Negative 4 is less than 11. 0 is less than 11. 17 would not work though. So correct solutions 3, negative 4, and 0. Now again, anything less than 11 would work there. So there's an infinite amount of correct solutions. On to number 2, where we have 29 is greater than or equal to m. So anything that is less than or equal to 29 would work for m because 29 needs to be greater than or equal to that m. So negative 24, that would work because that's less than 29. 29 is going to be greater than or equal to that negative 24. Same for 10. So let's circle those two. Now 55 is not going to be a correct solution because 29 is not greater than or equal to 55. 41, same thing. That's not going to work either. Now, this is a greater than or equal to symbol, so 29 would work here. So if we plug 29 in here for m, 29 is greater than or equal to 29. Well, that is true. So 29 is included in the solutions. On to number three, we have y is greater than 13. So any number greater than 13 would be a solution for y. Now, if we were to look at 13 for a solution, plug in 13, that would not work. 13 is not greater than 13. We would need a greater than or equal to sign for 13 to work, but we don't for number three, so 13 is not a solution. 12 isn't either. 12 is not greater than 13. We are looking for any number greater than 13, and that would be a correct solution. So 27 would work, 14 would work, Negative 62 is less than 13, so negative 62 would not work um, as well as 13 and 12 there. So correct solutions, 27, 14, and then any other number that's greater than 13. So lastly, let's move on to number 4, where we have 95 is less than or equal to Z. So 95 needs to be less than or equal to um, any of our correct solutions. So we're looking for numbers greater or equal to 95. So 94 would not work. 95 is less than or equal to 94 is not true. Same thing for negative 100. Now 97 would work. That's greater than 95. So we could say 95 is less than or equal to 97. That's true. Same for 152. 95 is less than or equal to 152. And lastly, 95, that would be true because we have the or equal to. 95 is less than or equal to 95. So those three solutions are correct, 97, 152, and 95. And then any other numbers that are greater than 95 would work as well. So there you have it. There's how you find solutions to basic inequalities. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.